Grapes are mainly water, but the perfect growing conditions do not include rain like we've been getting. Mastro Petro Winery was a 25-year hobby turned into a business. Today, I walked the vineyard with Dan Mastro Petro as he showed me why it's the worst year he can ever remember. This is a clump of grapes hanging from a vine at Mastro Petro Winery. Each grape is about the size of a pinhead. They should be four to five times bigger. Oh, it's been horrible. We, we're losing grapes, we're, the vines. We're really afraid of all the diseases that are going to come due to the wet weather. Water comes up from under Dan's feet as he walks amongst the vines. Looking at the leaves, he can see trouble, possible disease. Looking at the weather forecast, it's just troublesome. Just doesn't get any better. When's it going to end? Mastro Petro can't spray for diseases because the chemicals get washed away. Dan has lost a significant portion of the vineyard. Some of the tiny grapes may never ripen. It depends on the weather. If we dry out, if we would get some dry weather and dry out, we would save what we have left. We've obviously lost uh, the one vineyard, about uh, at least a third of the vineyard between the winter and spring of the wet weather. Mastro Petro has 20,000 feet of drainage, which can't keep up with the rain we've gotten. Just touch them and they're falling off. He can buy grapes to make wine this fall. Wine drinkers can drink no matter the weather. The winery, though, wants sunny skies because no one wants to drink outdoors in the pouring rain. We thrive in the summer for being a destination point where people can come sit on the patio, sit around the fires, the band will be outside, and yet we can't do that. Mastro Petro will have to replant some vines. The new ones will take three to five years to grow big enough before they can produce grapes.